And that's when it got serious. When he brought out the bunny. What's really going on, Pez Collecting fans? Josh the Pez Guy here on the Pezbook channel. Do me a favor, leave me your questions, your comments, your concerns. No, they know how to spell. Come on. Any and everything down below. Now then. So the fattier bunny. This dispenser can be referred to maybe as the first Oswald dispenser. Uh, check out my video on Oswald the Bunny. If it hasn't already been made, it's in the works. Um, yeah, it's going to be part of my Pez Theories thing. So, I don't sell bunnies. I throw them in a box, and as I throw them in the box, they accumulate. And as they accumulate, I start noticing there are a lot of different bunnies. But as I start comparing the bunnies with things that I know, I start finding out some things that, is, that are new, if you will. So let's take, for instance, this bunny. I know for a fact this bunny did not come on this stem. Do not use a homeworker uh, argument for me. No. These yellowhead bunnies that are footed, only available here on this green. If you have it on card or in cello, it may be different. But even some of those bunnies in cello, these can be, uh, yeah, a little uh, iffy, if you will. Questionable at best. There is Pez Candy in here. We see that, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's why it's even questionable in the package. An animal got in here. The only reason an animal, we'll just say a mouse, a mouse would get in here is for the candy. This hole is big enough to put candy in. My guess is somebody had no candy in there and said, oh, it'll be worth more if I throw a couple packs of candy in there. So he threw a couple packs of candy in there. So I don't trust this bunny. No, not for sale either. Get out of here, bunny. There are a couple variations on the head. There's an Austria and a Yugoslavia version. Now, we aren't talking about the no feet. We aren't talking about peach, white, pink. We're only talking about yellow right now. We're talking about the footed. So let's get this no feet out of here. When I flip this dispenser over, See how the coloration on the inner sleeve is completely even. Let me pull up the head a little more. There it goes. See on the back where the inner sleeve has been hitting the stem, how it has that white? Well, if you look above that, all the coloration is even. Okay. So now that we know the coloration is even on a green one, that would mean it should be even on this one as well. But if you look right there, right there, see? See the coloration? Excuse me, discoloration? This dispenser is not working with me. Bunny, I know your secret. It's coming out. Don't make You gonna work with me now? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, had to take him out back and straighten him out, but we got it all taken care of. All right, in this area, see the white? That is a stress mark on the plastic from it being moved away it shouldn't have been moved. So it has been altered from its original uh, state of being, if you will, for lack of a better term. And when we go back to this green one and we see those marks, those marks show that they've been rubbing against the stem which means it has been altered from its original state. Out of here. Such a cool stem. Why did they waste it on this? It would have been so cool. You see? That's so much see-through. Maybe it's not as see-through as I think it is, but you can see it down there towards the bottom of the feet. But this does have that stress mark there, and that's from people popping the heads and putting on something that shouldn't be there. So, 
when they go in and they apply the pressure here to remove the head, see how the plastic's bending? See those little white marks there? Those little white marks are created by my pressure. And when I pop off the head, I'm not sure if you can see them in there. But those little stress marks there, right there and right there, those have been made by putting this head on. So this is not a legit dispenser. This is something somebody fudged together, like so. They made sure the numbers matched up. But with these footed dispensers, there's a lot more information than the no-feed dispensers. I mean, I can understand this cop being on an IMC2 black stem or a white stem. Maybe a child took off the hat and put it on a different dispenser. Or maybe a home worker needed an extra piece of bread for dinner that night when they went down to the Pez factory to sell them their toys to get paid. So this one right here, junk. Garbage. So when it comes to bunnies, be careful of bunnies, because there's a lot of them out there that are garbage. There are even some in cello that are questionable. But that doesn't mean you have to hate bunnies. You can like the bunnies. You can enjoy the bunnies. You can have millions of bunnies. But just know what it is you have. Check them out. So until next time... Quit re-stemming bunnies!